Hello everyone, welcome back to the Avis YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can automate your SQL query by using Python. So let's jump into this video and see how this is going to work. So right now I'm using a Jupyter notebook and you need a MySQL as well. So there's a two way I will show you either you can connect your local database into your uh, uh, Python or you can use a cloud server as, as well. So let me go back to the Python and let's first install some important libraries that are required for this video. Okay, so first thing we need a Panda. So you, you might have a, already installed the Panda, but there's an important library that help us to connect with the SQL Alchemy. So you need to, Schematic marks pip install uh, SQL Alchemy. Okay, this is the way you can install the SQL Alchemy. As if in and this video for we are using MySQL, so you can write MySQL connector as well. Okay. So that's the way you can install your uh, SQL Alchemy since I've already installed it. So I don't require to run the command. So let's directly jump to the code and see how first connect your database into the Python. So let me first write import pandas as pd and then I will say from SQL Alchemy. I will say import create engine. Okay, so create engine is done. Now, what will I do? First, say I will store the database variables and then I will create some variables a user variable, password variable, and then I will create the host variable. And then I will say the database that I want to connect. Now, once I create the variable, now come to the MySQL. In the MySQL, you will see a lot of connections are there, right? So since I'm using the local one, I will do one thing. I'll click over this button and trying to see what is the connection means I have. So if I click on the local instance, so as you can see, the local host is the, is the host name. This is a port number and this is a username. So I'll copy the username over here and come to this part and put over here in the double quote, the root. And I will put the password which of required to connect to the database and the host will be the local host. Local host put in the double quote as well. And then what I need is that a database which I want to connect. So let me go back to this MySQL and connect with this one of the server. And uh, as you can see, there are a lot of databases are there. It's taking a time. Just hold on a minute. As you can see, there are a lot of databases are there. So let me use this Zomato DB one. So what will I do? I'll write Zomato DB database. I want to connect the Zomato DT, uh, DB database. And once I've created these variables, now let's create the engine. Okay. Now engine will help me to build a connection to MySQL to Python. Okay. And let's use engine variable equal to, and then engine variable, I will say create engine. Engine and open the bracket. And afterward, I need to write this command to run it. F mysql plus mysql connector and then i will say colon slash slash now what will i do i will use a curly bracket and use this user variable over here and close the bracket now you need a colon again and then again curly bracket copy the password over here and paste over here and then you need the host at the rate curly bracket copy the host variable paste over here 
and then you need the slash database that you want to connect so copy the database and put in the curly brackets remember putting the curly bracket is very important that's why you can connect with the database so once this is ready now let me create a query variable and then in this variable i will say i will write a query so equal to select asterisk from so let me go back to this uh, my sql and see in this particular zomato one what is the name of the rest table so if you come over here table you have a restaurant table right so in the restaurant table there are a lot of columns are there so let me let's say from from rest to runs where let's choose any column let's say if i'm going to run this table uh you see the lot of columns are there let me use a country code so where country code is equal to 162 once i have that let me put in double quotes and then uh this is done now this should be you know, 162 is done now once this is once the query is ready, now let's run the query and see what is the output. So to run the query, since I'm using a Panda, so I will create a data frame, okay? That data frame help me to read it. So what will I do? I will say df is equal to pd dot read SQL. And that SQL is the query variable and put the query variable over here comma and then you need to say i want to run this engine in order to see me the output and then just write df dot head now we have getting some error let me check uh, okay this is one extra now it's perfectly fine i think all right as you can see the data set is now i can convert it into a data frame i can see the output in the uh, python so over here you can connect the same thing with the cloud server if you have any mysql cloud that you can easily connect it now once this part is done what you need to do exactly you need to automate this sql query into the python right so what will i do right now i will using a jupyter notebook environment i will copy this code and come to this new launcher part and i will create a python file which is a py file okay now let me tell you why i need it for this file i will paste the code over here okay and i will give a proper name to this file and let's click on save and let's say sql python automate right and now why we need this py file py file is very important because it's saved in your local machine and it's containing the python extension right so we will require this file in order to automate your work so now let's do one thing let's jump into this second thing is that you need a task scheduler that's come in uh, windows so if you search task scheduler and you will see this type of a task scheduler now click on create a basic task now this will automate run the query or automate run the file that you're going to upload in this particular wizard now give the name of the task let's say sql automation for using python right now if you have any description you can give the description click on next do you want to run the file do you want to run this particular code that we have just written do you want to written daily wise weekly wise monthly wise one time so let's say i will pick on the daily wise click on next now you can give the time let's say i will say 17 and you can give the time i want to i want this query should be run every 10 am okay so i will just make sure it will run 10 am and how many times it should be done every day one okay now click on next what action do you want to start so do you want to send a mail do you want to display a message i want to start a program because this is a program file okay this 
the program file should be start daily on the purpose. So if you click on next, now it's asking for the which program that you want to run. So what do we need to do is directly come to this my PC and this is the folder. Come to this uh, your C drive. In the C drive, you have option of uh, let me show you the option. You have an option of called user. In the user, you need to go to your default user, Navid, which is my username. Look for the app data. So if you don't see the app data, click on the view part. In the view part, show hidden files. So once you check this one, then you will see the app data. Now double click on the app data, go to the local and then go look for the program folder. So this is a program folder. And this is the Python, which I'm going to require Python. This is a version of the Python. Now this is a Python file. I need to give their path because this is a program file that it automatically run when we are going to give the path. Now copy this program one, come to this task scheduler and paste the path argument. Now in the argument, you need to give the file that we have just saved in our folder, which contains the script. This is the file which we require. So copy it, copy as path, then paste over here, click on next and click on next. Okay. One thing is that back, please don't give the double quotes. Remove the double quotes from the beginning and the ending. Okay. Now click on next, click on finish. And now you'll see there is a task scheduler is now has created in your scheduler. So that's the way you can automate your work. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have anything, question, any doubt that is there any other way you can do it, please share your thoughts in the comment box and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for the watching. Bye everybody.